attempt to create my own GNOME SVG. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose a circle. I'll draw an ellipse it says. So I'm going to draw an ellipse and let's say the body should look about like that. And I'm going to come back over here to my arrow and I'm going to click on that. Come on, move. Right about there. And then I'm going to come over here. And the, you see the lasso? Underneath it is the nodes that edit the points. They call them points. So I'm going to take this point and I'm going to bring it down like that. And then I'm going to take this point and I'm going to bring it down like that. And I don't really know 100% what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. So. Then I want to make this a little fatter, uh, flatter. So I'm going to bring that one out like that. And I'm going to bring this one out like this. I'm going to say, yeah, that kind of looks like the body for a gnome. And then I'm going to go to over here to this little palette, I think it is. And I'm going to fill that in. Now I can fill it in with a pattern. See right here? This pattern fill. If I wanted to print it, I could do it with a pattern fill. But because not everybody does print and cut, I'm just going to use a solid color. And because I'm Linda, I'm going to use pink. Then I'm going to come... Where is it? Boop, boop, I'm going to click right here. Do you see this red line on there? I don't want that red line. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to come up here. Under the word Silhouette Studio, under Edit, under the File thing right here, you see a little red box. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to go down here to where there's nothing. And it should be gone. See, it's gone. Alright. Now I need a head. So now... I'm going to get me another circle. And I'm going to say his head should look... Well, actually, he should have a nose. That's what we need next. And I'm going to make sure there's no circle around it. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to fill it with skin tone color. And I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to bring my nose right there. Right there. Now he needs a beard. This is going to be the tricky part. So let's get us a beard. So we're just going to take it and we're going to go just like that. And we're going to come over here to these nodes, these points. And we're going to play around with the points. We're going to make this. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Undo twice. One, two. So I click on that and I'm going to bring it to the best point I can bring it to. And then I'm going to slide this in because I want it pointy. And I'm going to slide this one in because I want it pointy. Then I'm going to come right here. And do you notice? Alright, let's move this one out of the way. Let's move this out of the way. And let's click on this. Now I want to add a point. And this is what's going to be tricky. Is I want to add points right there. I just clicked on it. See how I did this like this? See that little arrow thing? The arrow points to it. It gave me a new one. So now I'm going to bring this down like that. But I want it to go up like that. And then I'm going to bring this over. And I'm going to bring this over. And I'm going to make sure my lines don't crisscross with each other because then I'll have like invisible things I don't want. And then I'm going to click on this one. And then I'm going to bring it down here. Oh, wait. 
wait a minute, how did I do that? Bring that one back up there. Go back to the nodes. I want one right here. There we go. Bring it in like that. And it just spread down like that. But I don't want it quite so... This one. Just can bring it like that. And then we'll put another one right here. And we'll bring it up like this. And we'll slide this down. Bring it up like that. And we'll click on this one. Slide that down right there. Slide this up like that. And I can bring that down. But I'm not done with you, guy. Go back to my nodes. Let's bring you in a little. And down a little. Kind of like that. Let's try to do the same thing with this guy. In a little. Okay, come back to this one because I want this to be fatter again. this. I think that's good, and I'm going to fill it with white and no line. I don't want any line. So, I'll bring this up under there. You see it? You see it there, guys? It's there. It's hard to see because it's white. And I want to bring this to the front. So, I'm going to bring it right here. There we go. That little, these little boxes tell you where you're putting it under the word design. Alright, now I need a hat. So, let's find a gnome hat. Hmm, which one of these looks... Nope, that's not what I want. Undo that. That is not at all what I want. Undo that. Oh, redo. Put my nose back. Give me this shape again. And give me this one. Okay, give me my pointer. Because I want to take that and delete it. Delete, delete, delete. Where is the delete? It's right here. It's the X. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and yeah, I'm being a little, this little, there you go, now I can go like this, and go, no, delete that, that I don't want that, I'll take this one. Hmm, let's add some nodes. Why is it doing that? Hmm. It 
it's not giving me the nodes I want. Huh. Alright, let's select it. Why won't it delete it? Where's my delete? There is my delete. You have to press the pointer button to delete it. Okay. Gnome hat. I need a cone for a gnome hat. Let's try this out again. Let's try this again. And go right there. To right there. Now give me my pointer. Let's make it bigger. And not quite so wide. There we go. And not quite so tall. The nomad should be about. Let's fill it with this ch 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 purple. Alright, let's take this and let's make it like that. Alright, and let's select all those and move them down. And let's put his gnome hat on him. Now, we need to change this up a little. So. click on our nose with our pointer so we can bring it to the front and put our hat on our gnome. Now, let's select this thing and let's get rid of this red line around it and let's go object I think it's release compound thing. Now let's try the nodes. Can we do the nodes? No. Alright, let's go. Object. Convert to path. Here we go. Here we go. There we go, right there like that. Remember, we don't want it to cross each other because then it'll be like a something we don't want. I kind of want them a little lumpy and bumpy, you know? Because, well...
kind of want it rounded, not such a tip. But you guys are getting my gist, right? Now let's give it a star. Right here. And let's fill that with yellow. And let's take this object, convert it to a path, get rid of the red line around it because I don't want that. Let's get our pointer thingy and let's just put it right here on his hat. Okay, this is so far our gnome. Our gnome needs arms and leg feet. I'm taking a minute to look at the screen to see what I how I want this to look. Now if you're subscribed to my channel and you are part of Linda Toman Craft Along Group, when I get this turned into an SVG, which I will be cutting on my live on Wednesday night to show you guys that it works. I will make sure everything is in proper working order and I will share it in my Facebook group and then I will do all kinds of other things. Okay, now we need arms. It's just as simple as this, guys. This is very simple. Let's do our arms like this. Alright. We're going to take our arms and we're going to make them about like that. And we're going to fill it with the same color as... There you go. Let's get our pointer tool out of the way for a minute. And let's move it right here like that. Object, release compound, path, object, convert to path, get rid of that red line, I don't understand why it does a red line on everything. Alright, I mean we could outline it in black if we wanted to, but I don't want to. Now, I want to take some points. Think, Linda, think, think, think. Like that. That one, and like that. And bam! He has a shoulder, he has an arm. Just move it like this and go back to our points because we want to fix it up just a little. take this and move that. Now, I'm not going to attach it, but I could if I wanted to just make it one piece, but I'm not going to, because that way if people want to change the color of the sleeves, the color of whatever they're changing. So let's put this back right here. Let's find out where that ends, right there. Now, if anybody does silhouette and they know how to change, oh, I know how to change that, but I don't want it to be, alright, anyway. I think I can do, like, a pattern in the background, let's see. Nope. 
We're going to actually have something chosen. Okay, go back to my colors. Alright, I want to take this and I want to duplicate it. So I'm going to come up here. I think this is duplicate. And then I want to flip it. So I'm going to come up here to object. I'm going to mirror. And I'm going to flip horizontally. And I'm going to put his arm on this side. But I'm going to arrange it to the back. Same thing with this one. Arrange it to the back. And now, we need to adjust this one a little. We need to stand out a little more. There we go. Now we're going to give take this nose and we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to come here to the points. And we're going to bring it out a little like this. And we're going to take this one. And we're going to bring it in just a little. Right about there. Because we want to give him a thumb. Now we're going to click on that, and we're going to bring it here and go, oh, but he's got an awfully big hand, so we're going to make it smaller. So now I'm going to take, and I'm going to duplicate that hand, and then I'm going to come over here to object, and I'm going to mirror, and I'm going to flip it horizontally, and I'm going to put it right here. And there we go, we have two hands. Now we need two feet. Let's take this here and duplicate it, the nose. But let's change that color to black. Or let's make it purple. Let's make it the same color as the hat. That's not the same color. Let's try it. It's the same color as the hat. There we go. All right, and we're going to come over here to our points. And we're going to bring the top up a little, and we're going to bring this in a little, because we want that flat. There we go. And then you go back to our pointer, and just put a little shoe there. Duplicate that. I'm going to flip it, even though it probably looks the same, but I'm going to flip it anyway, just to, in case there's a little difference. And there we go. We have a gnome, y'all. So I just wanted to show you guys how to do this. So now I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to go Object, Release Compound Path, I believe is what I'm supposed to do. And I'm going to go File, Save As, to my hard drive. And I'm going to bring it down here, and I'm going to choose an SVG. And I'm going to call it Nomi. It's my Nomi. And we're going to go OK. Then we're going to minimize Silhouette Studio. And we're going to go, where did Nomi go? Arr! Let's go under Files to see where it went. Okay, here it is right here. It's in my downloads. Okay, so let's open up Cricut Design Space and see if it if it works. See if it's proper, if it's good enough. If not, then I have to go back and figure out what I did wrong or what needs to be adjusted. But I'm pretty sure my little gnome will work. And the cool thing is, is you can cut it out of whatever color papers and whatever you want. <clears throat> and I'm going to go OK. And I'm going to come over here to Canvas. Close that. Go to Canvas. And guys, I only have access to May something, and then I lose my, my ac cricket access. Alright, I want my Canvas. That's not my Canvas. There we go. Let's go new. 
and let's go upload. Let's upload an image. Let's browse. It should show me my recent ones right here. Right here. Know me. And we're going to open it up. Look, there he is. We're going to write know me by me. And we're going to upload it. And then we're going to take it. And we're going to add it to the canvas. And there he is, y'all. There he is. There's the gnome. And we're just going to save it. Because we're going to cut it tomorrow. We're going to come down here to SVGs by me. I think I have a file like that. SVG by me. And it's Nomi. Nomi 1. Save. There we go. And we have saved it. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're part of Linda Tome Craft Along, the SVG will be there and you can cut it along with me and create it along with me tomorrow, Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. during my live. All right, y'all. Have a great day.